I love pickup trucks and I love pickup truck drivers. Because you're willing to lend a hand. That's a guy you want to go for. Welcome to Retro Cars Forever. My name is Brad and congrats, we have made it to the final episode of this 10 part series. For this social experiment, I've gathered 10 single women, 10 single guys, and their 10 different cars. Our panel of single ladies react and rank all the cars based on how likely they'd want to date the owners just based on their vehicles. Right now, with just one car left, here's how it looks. The Jeep Wrangler maintains its lead with a few modern, totally normal cars doing surprisingly well in second and third. The women have been fans of modern, practical vehicles like the Ranger, so it has a good chance of being the upset. Let's meet the owner and the final challenger. My name is Sajeev, I'm an automotive journalist and I drive a 2011 Ford Ranger. I use it aside from work to support my hobbies. I'm a drummer, I own and restore and maintain classic vehicles, and I didn't want to spend a whole lot of money doing it because I like to pour my money elsewhere, like buying a house. And so that's why the Ford Ranger was a great fit for me. It's amazing what a lightweight truck with a manual transmission can do because it's just a joy to drive. I was not expecting that at all. It's pretty impressive. It just doesn't look that impressive. I know the feeling on that too, but I don't buy this thing to impress people. I do it to get the job done, and it is really, really nice. Now, as a reminder, that clip you just saw of the owner was just for you viewers. The women did not get to see that. They were only shown footage of the car. Let's hear what they had to say. Let's go. Oh, it's a pickup truck. Oh, it's a Ranger, and I think that's smaller than the F-150. I'm okay with this shape because it's got a little bit of that old school truck shape. Classic lines doesn't scream a particular era, just timeless. There's nothing ostentatious about it. Of all the trucks, this is the truck you put in here. It's not attractive and it's not manly looking at all. I'm not a huge fan of the way that this truck looks. The color is plain, the shape is plain. It's not a terribly stylish car, it's a function over form, but I can respect that. This is a work truck. I like work trucks. Here's everything you need. Here's that access it. Nothing's in the way. Yo, what is that railing in the... What is that? That's cool. Huh, maybe this is for extended length of the car because it's a smaller truck. That's probably two more sheep you could put in there. Two-tone interior. This interior is way too nice for a truck. I don't trust it. It would be easy for you to see uh, out the back window. I do not like single cabs because there's no inside storage hardly at all. You can't even put your groceries in the car. You have to put them in the back. It's weirdly impractical in its practicality. You probably can't recline the seats. What if I'm tired? You need to start relaxing after a glass of wine, not like staying awake and like, you know? I bet he has lots of friends who love him when they have to move. I had a friend when I moved that had a pickup truck, so I was so happy that he had a pickup truck. <laughs> I had an ex with a pickup, and when my car died, I drove his truck around for months, and I loved it. You just feel like you're out just to, like, get work done. Pickup trucks are great for activities. Nice big bed, wide open. You can enjoy a drive-in movie or a beautiful sunset or the stars, meteor shower. I love that. People who own trucks are a little bit more helpful. If I know that like, oh, this is the guy that you can call up. This is the person who is going to jump in and help. That's a good trait in a long-term partner. That's a guy you want to go for. Truck drivers, I don't know if they really drive that much different unless they have like the stacks on the back and like are revving it. This is what I constantly do when I'm driving on the highway having to deal with a fucking truck driver because they think they own the road, especially with the bigger trucks. I just immediately roll my eyes and brace myself and go, okay, are you gonna be one of those dudes? And nine times out of 10, they are. Non souped up pickup trucks are fine with me. <laughs> this is one of the smallest pickup trucks you could buy in the past okay. decade. So does size matter? Are you talking about size in pickup trucks or size in? <laughs> whatever, whatever. <laughs> To learn. It's more, uh, will it fit into the parking space? <laughs> what are we talking about exactly here, Linda? We're talking about trucks. Oh, okay, okay. Just want to make sure. Hey, with size, it's always about what you do with it. I like that this is a smaller truck. Like, this is a truck I would get. It's reasonable. The person I think that drive this truck understands minimalism 
exactly what they need and is very self-assured with who they are. Somebody with a larger truck may just need it to overcompensate. Like if it's a guy who is like needs it for like practical reasons and haul stuff around, totally, yeah, do it. If it's like, I'm just a guy who likes to have a big truck, I gotta be a big man with a big truck. Ew. I think big trucks are really hot, like style-wise, like aesthetically, I just like, I think they're sexy. Bigger trucks are 100% more comfortable. Whereas a small pickup truck feels like you're just sitting on a bench and you're hopping up and down. So as someone that works in agriculture, as a country girl, it's almost impossible to find a country guy attractive if they have a small truck. They can't tow anything. They have zero power compared to an actual truck. Like you need to have a bigger truck, be able to utilize that truck for something. If you have a small truck, it's just a no. To each his own, but in my case, I'll be riding in that big boy. Whoever this person is, there's no pretense. This is just a practical down to earth dude. I imagine this is somebody who gets out and about more often than not. I think adventure guy who careless about the look. Yeah, this person doesn't give a shit about style. Maybe not even their own. They're not full on redneck, but like me, they have a little whisper of it in their blood. <laughs> they know manual labor and they're good at it. They usually tend to be multi-talented people who are versatile in a lot of situations and have a lot of varied skills. It's kind of like a old man's truck because they can't get into big trucks anymore or it's someone that just can't afford like a full-size truck. The guy would have to be super hot to be like, oh, this is a really good situation here. <laughs> On to the rankings. After checking out all 10 cars and having no clue who the owners were, the women were asked, which car owner would you be the most interested in dating? Out of the 10 different vehicle choices, this is where they each ranked this car. Number five. I like the simplicity of this truck. However, there is a little bit less comfort. I'm okay with this truck. I dig it. I don't have a problem with pickup trucks. Like, they are very handy, but you can kind of get lost in the crowd and lost in the shuffle with them. I think it's too vanilla. I know I talked about how much I love the practicality of trucks, but I did put the Ford Ranger at number eight because it's very simple. I need someone who's a little bit more exciting. So I think that this is an active type of person who isn't really concerned with materialistic things. I just don't think the maker of this model really cared about the way that it the truck looks, it's more of a tool. And so are you a tool, like the person who drives this? As much as I love the idea of a truck where you can enjoy the bed laying in back of it for drive-ins and being at the beach, I realize that's not gonna be the norm. That's a little on the small side. I guess if the truck was a little bigger, I never thought I was one about size, but it seems a little compromised. It's just like such a small truck. It's just like a very weird move. Like it must be a weird kind of guy. <laughs> I like that it's on the smaller side. This seems like a really good, useful car. That's a nice truck. I feel like the guy with the truck is out there doing stuff and outdoors based and I'm into it. Let's see how our final vehicle did. The women gave the Ranger an average ranking of 6.4. That slots it in seventh place. In any case, look at that. The final results of our epic 10 episode quest and the answer to the question of which car a guy could buy that would be the most attractive to a single woman. The ultimate victor is the Jeep Wrangler. Its blend of ruggedness, fun, and sense of adventure won over the ladies' hearts while not being too impractical or unsafe, things that hurt a lot of the lower ranked entries. So now that it's over, I'm super curious what you thought about this test. Were you as surprised by the final rankings as much as I was? Any cards you wish to see ranked in the future, if we do a follow-up, leave a comment down below because I always love to hear from you. A huge thanks for the 10 women in our panel and for the 10 guys for being such good sports. I couldn't have done this series without all of you. If you missed any episodes of this series, here's a playlist of all 10 cars and a link to another completely different video right here. Thanks again and see you next time.